With the emissions of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the ozone layer is slowly deteriorating. Here in Fort McMurray, the Wood Buffalo landfill may have the answer to reduce the problem. It's called aerobic technology, and it's the world's largest landfill project right in your own backyard. In the past, the landfill has used anaerobic process. This produced methane and the poisonous gas H2S, also known as hydrogen sulfide. Jared Peckford of the Environmental Service Department explained the three-phase project, which he believes will reduce greenhouse gases dramatically. The technology itself is basically an in-situ composting technology. So we're degrading the organics in a controlled manner uh, under aerobic conditions to prevent methane from being formed. Uh, in, the, in the historic landfill practice, once waste was placed and covered, the, the atmosphere would quickly go into an anaerobic condition. Uh, the bacteria that are present in an anaerobic cell actually produces methane as part of their byproducts. Uh, methane is 22 times as uh, potent a greenhouse gas as CO2. So that's where the basis comes from. If we introduce oxygen, the methane won't be formed. Uh, and we get the credit for all the offsets as the organics degraded. So we have this split into basically your phase one lobe, phase two, and then phase three. Uh, and then each one of the wells basically is a nest configuration. So but basically these are your cells uh, that you'll have a two, three week window for your waste placement, right? Uh, overall they're capped off. This is your meteor clay cap that will go on to the top. And this would be an example of one of the wells that are coming in. So we put them in a nest configuration to give us that uniform uh, dispersion field we're looking for. The blowers go on top of the site. Uh, for introducing the auction into the green wells, and then your white ones will be seen the your uh, monitoring. So right now you're looking at the Fort McMurray landfill, uh, which was in operation since 76. So all the waste from the region uh, since 76 has been placed on this site. So what you're looking at now is the uh, closure operation we've been running since June of this year. Uh, it's a two-phase approach, uh, which is basically your side slopes, which you're looking at right now. Uh, as part of the regulatory requirements, we had to put a meter of clay on top of this site to shed the water so we don't have any leachate formation. So it's just to keep the fresh water running off the site. Um, for the landfill gas, what this actually does first, it gives us some uh, containment so we don't have a pathway of leach resistance so the gas is not going to migrate off the site for us. We'll actually control it into the wells you see off to your right there. Okay. How long has this been going on? Uh, it's about six months now. Um, we all have to come back in again next year and finish off the vegetative layer. We got to put in a 0.3 meter of uh, uh, peat moss on top of this, just so the grass will grow. But this is uh, the first site in Alberta that's done this way. Typically, the regulations they want the entire site capped within 360 days. Uh, we've we've approved the deviation to allow us to do the landfill gas project. This is a huge step in the right direction. Fort McMurray residents should be proud of what's going on here. Hopefully in the near future, provinces all across Canada will adapt this kind of technology. For Shaw TV, I'm Craig Momney.